The Alzheimer's Association says more than 16 million Americans are currently providing unpaid care for people with Alzheimer's or other types of dementias. Oftentimes, it is family who cares for their loved ones. Tonight, we look at the challenges caregivers face and where they turn to for support. She had such a life of service working in pediatrics. Dana Ong's mom, Frances Ong, was a nurse and someone Dana looked up to. She was known for her grace and her beauty. But as she got older, Dana noticed something was wrong. We started to see that she was forgetting how to get to places that she had been to a hundred times. At 79 years old, Frances Ong was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Draw a clock, tell us the date, and she got a lot of that wrong. Over the next 11 years, the disease would worsen. Eventually, Frances Ong couldn't remember how to walk, and she was bedridden. Dana was one of her main caregivers. First frustration is when you get the person asking the same question over and over again, and you have to learn how to acclimate to their understanding of the world. So you have to just redirect them and not try to tell them, no, don't ask that question again, you already did, because they're not going to remember. Over the years, Dana says caregiving was emotionally draining. The two things that helped her pull through, taking time for herself and support groups, something Ira Kazama, a facilitator of an Alzheimer's support group, highly recommends. Uh, it's the first time for many of them that they see that, uh, wow, you know, there's somebody else that understands what I'm going through. Kazama says the support groups help relieve stress. You will see them coming in initially with frowns, uh, later smiles, and even laughter. Dana Ong says just know you're not alone. It can be challenging. It can also be probably the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. Quick reminder, guys, happening this Saturday is the annual Oahu Walk to End Alzheimer's. Registration is at 7 a.m. The walk starts at 8 at Magic Island. It is free to participate, but the Alzheimer's Association is hoping for donations to help find a cure. And it's not too late to sign up. Coming up later in our show, we'll be joined by a volunteer from the Alzheimer's Association.